All right, what's up, Gilly Gang? Ghost Gilly here. Uh, this video is strictly gonna be for airsoft snipers. Uh, so they got a game going on here at the home field right now. So I thought I'd make this quick little video for y'all. So uh, this video is strictly for snipers. We're gonna do, I always get asked, uh, how do you mount your scopes the right way, this and that. Cause I get a lot of snipers that come up to me and they always just throw their scope on their gun without leveling the gun out, leveling the scope and making sure it's line, in line with the rifle. So, <clears throat> It's gonna be a quick, a quick little video just so, just so y'all can see how I do it and how I get all my BBs to go straight and everything. Nine times out of 10, if you're aiming straight, your scope might look straight. When you're aiming in and you shoot and your BB go a distance in the curve, that's because you just slapped your scope on your gun. You didn't level your rifle or level the scope and make sure it was on the gun straight. So uh, it's gonna be a quick little video on how I do it. So let's get back to the table and I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. All right, y'all, it was raining at the field. Got our scope, got our mount already on the gun, and we got our leveling bubbles. This is like the most important part you're gonna need. So before, so the first thing you wanna do before you mount your scope, this is the way I do it. Other snipers might have a different way of doing it, but this is the way I like to do it, and this is how I get all my shots to go straight, and the, uh, the gun is not center, uh, BB is not curving and stuff like that. So first step, let's make sure the gun level. So you want to grab, you might have a gun bag or anything you can do use to uh, put in the back of the gun to make sure it's leveled. So the first thing you want to do is this. So the first thing you want to do is set a leveling bubble on the back end of your gun. Sideways. I do two in the back. Put one sideways so we can make sure the gun not tilted left or right. And then I put one in the back. This back one's going to tell me if the gun is like leveled. So I'll uh, lift it up like this, put some up under the butt plate. And as you can see, that's almost dead on. So the gun is leveled straight ahead like this. And then from the side, it's almost in the middle. Hold on, let's get that bubble in the middle a little bit. Right, right. Boom, we're perfect. See, both of the bubbles in the middle. Let me get y'all a closer view of that. Now, after you got the gun leveled, so right now the gun is level. Ooh, let me not shake it too much. Now, a mount is already on, the gun is still level. Now we can put the scope on. Put the scope on, nice and soft. And as you're doing this, as you're messing around with the scope, keep an eye on these bubbles. Because if you tighten these screws, while these bubbles not in line no more, you basically gotta start all over again, long story short. So you gotta, you gotta be very precise when you're doing your scope with these leveling bubbles. Just like right here. All right, now the gun is still level, the scope is on. Now this is how you're gonna line your rifle with the scope. You wanna put a leveling bubble right here, right on top of the scope. And as you can see, the bubble's not in the middle cause the scope is turned. So the gun is level. Now let's turn the scope a little until this bubble is in the middle of both of the black lines. Right, hold on too far, right there. So now the bubble is in the middle. So we got the bubble in the middle. The rifle is still balanced out pretty good, as you can see from these two back uh, leveling bubbles. The scope leveling bubble is in the middle is good. So the whole, everything is in line. So now the last thing you have to do without messing anything up, this is the hardest part to me. Put the top rings back on the scope mount without interrupting the leveling bubbles. So let's, let's go ahead and drop both of the top mounts on top like this. Okay. Now the last thing we gotta do, everything's still lined up and level pretty good. The last thing we gotta do is tighten the screws while the gun is still level, especially this one. So let's do, gotta do this real soft. Tighten the screw. Now, you don't, you don't tighten it like all the way, just like, Keep twisting until you get resistance. That's how I do it. And then you go to the screw across from it. And while you're doing these, while you're doing these screws, keep your eyes on all three of the leveling bubbles. Boom. Do this one. So you get resistance. Resistance. Move to the next screw across from it. And move to the other screw. So when you tighten these screws, don't do the two screws on the same side, then move to the other side, crisscross. So do this one, that one, then do that one, then crisscross again. So let's do these. 
Get this one first. So that's feel resistance. Right there, stop. You don't want it too tight. You don't need it tight, tight. Do this one across from it. All right. Keep out on leveling bubbles while I'm doing this. So I feel resistance. Now, if you tighten up these screws, right, in the middle of it, and you look and you see some, a bubble off, loosen the screws back up. Make sure all the bubbles back in the middle and then go back to tightening your screws. Don't tighten your screws with the bubbles off because basically all you're doing is tightening up the scope and the, right, and the, um, the rifle is not in line. So let's go a little tight. And it, this is just a quick way to do it. The better way to do it would be with a torque wrench so you can know the amount of pressure and all that stuff to lock the screws in. But this is just a quick way I do it if I'm in a hurry. All right. So after that, that's all. That's how you do it. So you, the, the scope is tight to the mount. The top leveling bubble is still in the middle, and the two back leveling bubbles is still in the middle. And then the last step you want to do, this to help you out, purchase one of these uh, leveling bubble mounts that you can put around your scope. And so if you, once you to add one of these, once you got everything settled, scope tight, leveling bubble still good, you want to take this mount and put it around the scope and tighten it while it's in the middle, but make sure the gun's still level. It's the same process. So that way when you out on the field and you plan, all you gotta do is look at this leveling bubble. While like you squatting down somewhere and you finna shoot, make sure the leveling bubble is in the middle like that. And then you shoot. That way your BB not curving. That's another thing too. Like a lot of snipers, they just throw their scopes on their sniper. And the it's not, the, the scope is not in line with the rifle the right way. So when they shoot, they BB go a certain distance and then the BB curve, that's why. Cause, so this is the best way to do it. I, heard, I hope this video helped a lot of you and uh, catch you in the next one. And if you got any more questions about how to do anything else, just let me know and I'll uh, try to make a video on it. But yeah, see you in the next video. Go Skilly out.